Alright, I'm going to try to explain this the best way I can again. Yeah, it's dark, but I'm going to use the help of my Jewel Thief buddies. Right here, the lamp I just made, I'm going to use him, which is, you know, camera circuit running off that underneath here, you know. So we got to, I'm going to use him as my lighting, and this guy right here too. So, I figured, what the hell is the point of me showing the process of winding it? I mean, that'd be a waste of time. It's too freaking simple. Just look at it. Just look, and you'll see how to do it. Observe by, by looking. This is the tower. That is the top lead coming off the tower just hanging there you see so the tower is like this wound down all the way down like this it's not very big you see then here goes the pancake the pancake is about five turns. It's kind of hard to see because this camera sucks. And you can see they're overlapping. It's really shitty. That's my pancake. Okay, we're back to the tower. You saw the top lead hanging out. The bottom lead is down here. It's hard to see. This is the bottom lead coming from the tower. And that's going to the base. But the bottom lead is going to the base, in the middle, that's it. This is the transistor. The pancake coil has one wire. This wire right here is just going straight out to the positive. <clears throat> this is this wire right here going down like this all the way down to the positive of my input which is about 5 volts this is the emitter on the left here of the transistor the emitter is just not connected to anything except for the negative of the input okay you see that's it it's that simple that's all there is to it but What's complicated about it is, let's say I kill the oscillation. See, everything's hooked up right. It's not lighting. What happened? See, I just touched this top wire and killed the oscillation. That's how sensitive it is. So what do I normally say? Touch the B and C. Usually, I just use my finger. So you can see I just touched it and it kick started back on. Touch that wants to go back out touch that again kick started back on so I mean you can get an idea of how easy that is so I'm just I'm gonna give more angles now so I'm just gonna unhook it take it over here Take it over here and use this other light I got. There you go. Get my paper towel roll. Just put a little base on the bottom. See the thickness of the wire? I don't know if you can see that. That's the wire. Transistor. You can see. This 
is the base, and there's that thin wire, which is the bottom of the tower. Bottom of the tower going straight to the base. The collector, which is on the right, collect over here on the right. That wire is just one of the pancake coil wires. That's it. At the other end of the pancake coil, of course, which down here is just hanging out, that will go to my positive, which just leaves the emitter of the transistor, which is all lonely, so of course the negative goes to him, as usual. That's it. So, once you know what it works, then um, you can go ahead and you know take it off of a take it off the board, and just go ahead and get it situated some type of way like you like it, and you're ready to go. You know, go ahead and uh, give it some juice. Very simple. Very very simple. Yeah, man. And jewel peaks are kind of useful, a little bit. You know, they don't bring, they don't give the most light, but they work. For a long time. So yeah, that's the best I can do, man. I don't know. If you can't get that, then you just meditate on it. <laughs>